Topaz Workbench is an Eclipse-based IDE designed specifically for mainframe developers. Along with integrated access to the Compure developer productivity tools, Topaz Workbench also provides core ZOS functionality and features that exploit the Eclipse framework to remove the esoteric nature of mainframe development. Let's take a look at a few of those capabilities. Accessing ZOS datasets is as simple as right-click and setting up a filter. Once set up, the list of datasets that match that filter will be returned. The icons indicate the types and states of the various datasets. Migrated datasets can be recalled with a right-click. And once recalled, another right-click will show you the actions that can be performed on that dataset. In this case, the one we're working with is a vSAM file. As a matter of fact, cross LPAR copy is as simple as dragging it and dropping it onto the other LPAR. Submitting jobs can be a right-click option from the Host Explorer or from the editor. Here we open up a PDS and we'll submit a simple file aid batch job with right-click and submit. Once the job completes, we'll get a pop-up and clicking on the link in the pop-up would bring our sys out into the editor. We can also get at our job through the JES Explorer. First, we identify which LPAR we want, we're interested in and it'll return all the jobs that match our prefix. From here, we can do things such as expand it, contract it, resubmit it, purge it. Um, if it was a compile, we could show the specific compile diagnostics. We can even initiate an iStrobe measurement, either an add queued or an add active against that job. Double clicking on the entry will open it up in the editor. Notice that in the sysout editor, we hyperlink dataset names. This is to allow you to click on it to gain quick access to those datasets. Topaz Workbench also allows for intelligent data editing driven by the file aid family of products. You can establish a filter, for instance, for DB2, and then open up the subsequent tables with a right-click and choosing file aid data editor. You can do the same for IMS and open up the subsequent databases. For MVS files, you can do the same thing with sequential and vSAM files. And then finally, also for ZOS Unix, when you get to a data file, you can right-click and choose the file aid data editor to open it up in intelligent editing. Regardless of the data type, the file aid data editor opens up with this same spreadsheet-like look and feel. You can sort by columns just by clicking on the column header. By right-clicking, you can manipulate both columns and rows. The data editor also is driven by these request dialogs that are data-specific. For instance, this allows you to control what fields you're interested in seeing, and if you're not interested in all the rows, you can set conditions to re only return certain rows. You can also set whether you want to browse or edit the data set. Making changes is as simple as clicking into a cell and making the changes. Or you can do a find and replace as well. Your changes are not reflected on the mainframe until you do a save. You also can save and reuse these requests. For instance, here we are opening up a DB2 request. And now we have both a DB2 table and a vSAM file open with that same file aid data editor look and feel. Here we are editing a COBOL program. The editor, powered by Slick Edit, provides this outline view that lists all paragraphs and variables. Clicking on a paragraph will take you to that line of code in the editor. 
clicking on a variable inside the editor, and we can show all of the references of that variable in the program. Clicking on a specific line in the references view will synchronize the editor with that line of code. There are also type ahead capabilities. For instance, if we add a move statement, the editor will finish the move for us, and as we begin entering fields, we'll provide a list of the fields that match. We can then use the scroll down key to find the desired field. Hovering over a field will also show its definition, and clicking on that green arrow will take, it, take you to the definition. You can also emulate different editors. For instance, here's the ISPF editor being used in Topaz Workbench. Topaz Workbench uses the Eclipse debugging framework driven by Expediter to debug mainframe programs. This means you use the Eclipse terms such as resume, terminate, and step into as opposed to go and go one. However, setting breakpoints is as simple as clicking into the leftmost gutter. Hovering over fields will show you the value of the fields. You can still create watch variables and set up conditional wins. So it provides the power of Expediter just in a, the Eclipse consistent framework. It also provides some capabilities new to Expediter. For instance, you can reuse breakpoints across debugging sessions. And you, there's a capability known as step around, step over, which allows you to step over subroutine calls if you're walking through a program line by line. Just like with the file aid requests, you can save and reuse launch configurations as well. Topaz Workbench is an Eclipse-based IDE for mainframe developers and is ideal for that next generation of mainframe developers. Existing mainframe developers might find some attractive features there as well. For more information, please go to compuware.com.